So, Konami has been doing a blinder lately, and if you don't know what I mean, well, I'll put it in one phrase. Silent Hill is back! Now, Silent Hill is a series that's been long held as one of the, the greatest horror franchises throughout video gaming. It's just one of those things that's up there with Resident Evil and the like. And it's for a while it's went dark after the failed kojima project we didn't really get much in regards to silent hill content however konami has announced five new projects the first of which being a remake of silent hill 2 the most beloved game of the silent hill franchise it's brought us characters like the twitchy nurses and of course pyramid head wherever he may be He's not there. He's definitely not there. Um, on top of that, it's spawned a crap load of memes and is generally just seen as a fantastic masterpiece of a game. Now, the remake, what footage we've got, looks absolutely stunning. It's a very beautiful game. And hopefully they don't fall into the pitfall that a lot of video game developers have done in the past, which is release a buggy, crappy mess. Which I don't expect they will. Um... Konami has a reputation of not bringing games out that are broken and buggy. Uh, so hopefully we manage to get away with it. But we'll see when it comes out. Now the next project we've got is Townfall. At the moment we only have really a teaser trailer for it. So we don't have any details of how it's going to be and whatnot. But it is a spin-off. And it's being made by No Code Studios and the developer who have horror hits like Observation and Stories Untold, um, and being uh, published by Anna Purina. Purina? Well, yeah, whatever they're called. Um, so it's a little bit out of Konami's wheelbox. It's maybe going to be not the same type of game as other Silent Hill games. We'll see when it comes out, obviously. And there apparently is some hidden messages in the trailer that people are trying to decode currently. So that's pretty interesting as well and very on point for Silent Hill. Then next up we have Silent Hill F, which is another spin-off of the series and it is being made by Neil Bards Entertainment. It's a Taiwanese based company um, and the game story has been written by a Japanese visual novel creator known for stories of psychological and supernatural horror. And if you've watched and or read any type of like Japanese based horror stuff. It's gruesome. It's pretty gruesome. So this kind of gives me, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty fucked up. I'm not going to lie. And with the trailer, it does look to be very much that case. It's intriguing though. It's very intriguing. Now, the second to last of these games is called Silent Hill Ascension. It's been advertised as a live streaming interactive project, which at first I thought it was going to be similar to like a make your own storybook or those games that you find on Netflix. Yes, there are games on Netflix uh, where you can basically go through, pick a path and do different things. However, that seems to not be the case. It seems like it's going to be literally a case of they will announce a time that it goes live. We watch it. And as we're watching it, we can decide the fate or the scenario that the characters are going through. It looks like it's going to be really interesting and I'm very, very intrigued. But God knows how that's going to work. Now, our last thing that we're going to talk about is that they have announced a new movie adaptation to the series, Return to Silent Hill. It's being directed by Christopher Gans. Um, who worked on the original movie, which I absolutely love, don't get me wrong, it is story-wise not the best movie in the world, but it's it's chilling. I loved it. I loved everything about that movie. Um, this is the kind of thing I, I, I love about Silent Hill. It's so, so, so varied and can do so many things. Um, and hopefully we get a pretty awesome movie out of it. Um, again, we don't have much details. We don't know exactly the when and when where it's going to happen but a new movie along with a bunch of new content for silent hill is going to be very interesting and i think konami is getting a resurgence in the west if you're like me for the past i think seven years i've not been interested in a single damn konami game and that's because most of the games that they've been releasing have been japanese orientated kind of stuff like konami is a japanese company i don't begrudge them for focusing on their kind of 
homeland stuff. That's that makes sense. It's where their biggest market probably is, um, and they've neglected the West in that regards because we aren't all interested in the certain games that they make. But in the past little while, they've announced obviously the Silent Hill series. But uh, about a month ago, I want to say they announced that they were releasing remasters of Suicoden One and Two, or Suicoden One and Two. I I don't know how you're meant to actually pronounce it, and I absolutely love the game. It's one of the my favorite games from my childhood. So they have just made a massive difference to their their kind of stuff going on at the moment and it's going to be amazing to see what they come out with next